Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. First off, before I get into too much about the Kaz content that I'm creating in this video, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who took part in my giveaway. Um, as I'm recording this, I've literally just finished announcing the winners of the giveaway and it was so lovely because The Sims started a sale just as I was about to announce the winners um, and most of the packs were like 50% off. It meant that I got to give away twice as many packs as I had originally planned to. So I got to surprise twice as many people and oh I'm just so pleased everyone was so positive and nice to one another and supportive um, that I'm definitely going to do another one so please please stay watching the channel stay supporting because I'll have another giveaway soon probably in around a month I think maybe not a full month maybe part of the way through August my plan was either just to have a regular giveaway or I'll hold one when I reach my next milestone so I'm thinking that would be 500 subscribers and if that's too far away, if that's too unrealistic, because I have a feeling that in a couple of days time, my subscriber count is going to go down quite a lot because obviously I've just finished a giveaway. So maybe a few people will unsubscribe and that's absolutely fine because if that's the only reason they were there, then whatever. <laughs> but you know, um, that's just how it is. So maybe when I reach 500 subscribers or the other thing I was thinking of is I could arrange a giveaway when Nifty Knitting comes out. So it could be like a stuff pack themed giveaway. So I'll maybe give away a couple of Nifty Knitting packs or other packs depending on what people ask for. But that's really exciting. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. And obviously at the moment as this video has gone out, I've currently got um, a shell challenge related to well, it's basically inspired by eco lifestyle and the shipping container stuff that you get in eco lifestyle you don't have to have eco lifestyle at all to be able to take part in the shell challenge you can create whatever you want but the concept was basically this shell looks roughly like shipping containers what can you turn it into and it can be anything that you like whatsoever so yeah have a look on my twitter or i've got a video about it on my channel if you want to take part and it's got all the details in and feel free to comment and ask me any questions about it too so yeah that's exciting exciting new news in terms of the sims that i'm creating in this video then they're three separate households or three townies in three separate households and they're all single sims ready to um, be placed in evergreen harbour this one my that i'm making she is designed for the scandinavian apartment that i made not too long ago and then um yasmin at the end she was designed for the crafters apartment that i made as well um and then david in the middle i didn't have any any house in mind for him so he's just in a horrible ea build at the minute so sorry about that david <laughs> but i'm sure i'll um create him a lovely house at some point so basically what inspired me to create them was the community lot build that i posted not too long in a video um where i created three in one community builds basically I renovated a factory into a market space, a maker's place and a community garden. And in the marketplace, I had loads of different stalls, obviously, and three of them were a book stall, an artist stall and like a veg stall. And I thought um, I just picked those three stalls out of all of them and I decided to make Sims based on them. So as well, Maya here, who's the book lover, um, I thought she could run the bookstall. I also put loads of books in the timber Scandinavian apartment as well. So I thought that would sort of tie in nicely for her. Um, I had her in mind and she is actually based on a real person that I know in real life. I don't know her very well. So this might be a bit weird, like <laughs> me secretly fangirling her on The Sims. Um, but yeah, she's absolutely gorgeous, I think. And I see her pictures come up on Facebook all the time. And I don't know if I'm the only person that does this but like just making people that I don't actually know that well just because I see their face um on my social media but yeah she's from the Philippines and I just thought she was like so beautiful that I wanted to recreate her in the sims um so yeah this is Maya 
as well as being a book lover she is family oriented cheerful and she has the aspiration of wanting to find a soulmate so she's really sweet um, and then we're moving on to david and he was the chef or master chef so i had in mind that he would run the veg store basically because he's like really passionate about growing his ingredients and I gave him the green bean trait as well from Eco Lifestyle. Um, he's a glutton at the minute, but I think I changed that to a foodie. And then he's also a geek. And he was based, and I, I didn't change him too much from one of EA's automatically generated sims. Um, he pretty much stays pretty similar because I, I've never actually played with that sim before. And I, I, th I thought he was quite good. So I just kept him relatively similar um, and just modified him a tiny bit to my tastes because you know EA's in particular their outfits are not always the best because for example when I switched to the athletic automatically generated outfit I had a bit of a nasty shock with that hoodie <laughs> that just seems so odd um but yeah of course it's EA what are you gonna do and then for the last sim her name is Yasmin and I know that might seem quite arrogant considering my name is Jasmine but I just I like it as a name and it is different to me so I thought I'd roll with it I think she is the most beautiful sim ever I mean I don't know if that again is me being arrogant but <laughs> but I'm not sorry about it she is she was designed to be a sim who would run the arts and crafts stall at the marketplace that I mentioned so um, I gave her the creative aspiration she's self-assured she's creative and she's lazy and I was thinking again that um, I might use her in a let's play so if I do I might change out the lazy trait because I can't have the patience for lazy sims in game but yeah at the minute she's lazy I thought she'd be like the typical artist but she's beautiful so she doesn't need to put in effort for anything does she things just get done for her but um <laughs> I made her with the crafters apartment in mind as well and that's got for example the candle making kit I think the candle making station I think it's got an easel and it's got the woodworking table I thought she'd be quite a well-rounded crafter type sim and that makes me sort of more eager to play with her in gameplay because I am really tempted to do a rags to riches eco lifestyle themed let's play so yeah I think I might end up playing with her and have her like eventually running a furniture shop so I'm a little bit excited about that but we'll see I'll get you guys involved on Twitter and we'll see what you think and what you prefer because I'd love your input too um, and then I end up giving her a dog who is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel for some reason in the Sims they don't call it that um, I can't remember what they call it the first time I searched I saw what I would call a King Charles Spaniel under the English Toy Spaniel or something like that. And then when I typed in King Charles Spaniel, it came up with what I would call a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So I don't know what's going on with the Sims dog breeds. I've also seen that they don't have a Border Terrier and my boyfriend has a Border Terrier. So that's very upsetting to me that I can't make him in the Sims. <laughs> Um, but alas, I think it might just be like an American thing. Maybe they don't have that breeze or they call them different names. But yeah, so she has a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel called Ruby and she's absolutely gorgeous. I love her. And if you know me, I love animals. So I couldn't create a sim that I would possibly play a let's play with and not give her an animal of some sort. So if I do play with Maya... I'll give Maya the dog, even though I don't know whether it's that practical to start a rags to riches in particular with a dog, because you don't want to have to like pay for their food and things like that. So I don't know, maybe, maybe she won't have a dog. But anyway, we're coming up to the end of the video now. So I'm just going to let the music play for the rest of it. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. And if you liked it, please give a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. So thank you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.